Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. This is our Toro Titan Max. We're gonna do a short update on this machine, but the main point of the video is to show you a really cool accessory that we got for it that's gonna help with our work outside here in the fall time. Let's get going. Well, to be honest with you, there isn't much to say about this mower. I have had zero problems with it at all. The power is still amazing. The cut quality is still amazing. Everything about it is solid as a rock. And it makes the work here on our homestead go way faster because of its speed and the width of the deck and everything about it. It just helps us out a ton. And when you have a gas tank this big, seven gallons on this max, it's great because I don't have to stop and fill up. I mow five acres of our eight acre property and I can get two plus cuttings out of that tank. That's pretty awesome. Another cool thing is on this control panel here, you have two cutouts for other options. One of those is a light package and that's what we're gonna show you today. We're gonna show you how to install these lights on this Toro Max. So we've got the light kit from Toro for this mower. And what's really cool about it is it comes with the ability to put it on a square ROPS or a circular one. It's got the brackets for both. So let's bring you in here close. We're gonna show you how to start to assemble this light package. So what's really cool about these Toro accessories is most of them are just plug and play. These just click together and there's no need for cutting and stripping wires. Okay, first things first. These instructions are awful. They don't really tell you much and they have zero diagrams that are actually worth anything. So we're gonna to toss those. It's not rocket science, but there's a few little tricks here in putting this together that you need to know. So like I said first, we have a square ROPS on our mower, so I don't need the round attachments. You will need these squared off U-bolts and it comes with lock nuts. But we need to get this little bracket onto the light fixture itself and that is a serious challenge. So this bracket will fit on the back of this light fixture right here, and then this bolt will come through and through this portion, this front portion, of this flat bracket right there. Here's the thing, you need to put this in behind here before you try to attach it onto this light fixture because once it's attached, you can't get that little bolt right there through that slot. Okay, here's the really challenging part. This little squared out portion right here receive this, receives this little nut. This Allen keyed little machine screw here comes through the bracket and into there and you have to somehow <laughs> hold that nut and get it aligned and then use the Allen key here to try and thread it through. And there's no other way to turn this little screw this way. You can go through the fins, but only for like a quarter turn, and then you're running into the next fin. So you need to stick the Allen key in long, like this, and actually turn it. And in my opinion, that's a terrible, terrible design. Now Toro, if you're listening and I'm doing this incorrectly, let me know. But if I'm doing it correctly, you guys gotta change this design or wherever you source these lights from, you gotta get something better, something easier to put together. Because this, this right here makes the job go 10 times longer than it actually should. And I also don't have a lot of leverage on the end of this Allen key here. You might need to grab a pair of pliers to twist it around, that might work easier. The other issue with the design is now we got the cord right behind our bolt right here, so we need to get a wrench in here to be able to uh, support this and tighten it and that is a really really tight fit. So now let's show you how to attach the whole light assembly to the mower itself. But we need a good light to see down past the engine block to where you need to make the connections. And that's a great time to tell you about this cool new light that I just got. So this is the Olight Warrior Mini 2. I've never had a handheld light like this before. It's <laughs> unbelievably bright. It's 1250 lumens. Check out our chicken coop and all the way over to our house which is 150 yards away. And that's on its turbo setting but the crazy part about it is on its lowest setting this battery fully charged 
will last for 164 hours turned on. That's outrageous. Another cool feature is it has magnetic charging and also this rear area here also activates the light as well as a switch up here on the side. It's got this cool double angle belt clip so you can clip it in to your belt whichever way is most comfortable for you. I know a lot of tactical guys like to pull their flashlight out of their pocket in a certain way so on this one you can do it either way. If you want to get one of these lights, go in the description below. We've got a special discount code for our subscribers only. And if you act quickly, they're giving an even bigger discount. The normal discount is 10% and I honestly can't remember what the bigger discount is. I think it's 35% for the next week or so. Go and check the details out down below. So down here next to the battery, there's a secondary cable. The first cable that comes off is your main power. I believe this goes to the starter. This is auxiliary. And there's this little connector right in the middle of this uh, group of wires. Off of that, I pulled this little plug that was on there. And that's the exact same plug that's on the end of our wiring harness for our lights. We're just going to plug this in and then run our lines for our switch and up to the lights. Next thing you want to do is take a razor blade and cut out the rectangle hole for the light switch. Now we're going to detach these two clip wires on the bottom of the light switch and feed that underneath this console right here. You're going to need to snake these two wires underneath this console and the best way is to get your hand up from the front of the mower and try and meet up with your hand back here somewhere. After you've reconnected them, putting them through the hole, is just going to drop and snap into this rectangular hole here. Done. So this flat bracket will have the larger hole towards the front of the mower, the two small holes towards the back end of the mower. It'll come on the inside of our square rops here, and then we're going to put our squared off U-bolt around that and attach with these 13 millimeter lock nuts. And those lights have plenty of cord lengths, so you can put them up top, you can put them on the sides, wherever you want. Now, sorry about that. These are 15s up at the top. The 13 mil are the ones that will attach the light to this bracket itself. So you can mount these on the outside of the bracket so they're in line with your square tube rops. In my opinion, that's a real challenge. There's barely any room to get that wrench in there, but I did manage to do it. It's a lot easier to do it the other way around, but I'm going to show you that you can do it this way and barely get that wrench in there. Like I said, these systems are really cool because they're all just plug and play. Okay, I'm leaving it dark for dramatic effect. Let's see if these things work. Key switch to on. Woo! That's bright. I'm positive those small tips and tricks are going to be really helpful for you when installing these lights on your Toro. Okay, let's take it for a first spin and show you how bright they are out on the property. So it's pretty pitch black out here, which is perfect. I'm going to just flip these things on to let you see how much light this thing throws. So it's blinding in front of this mower. So my fall work schedule just got extended because now I can cut the grass in the late evening. So let me show you the light that that Olight throws on its turbo setting, the highest setting. I'm going to flip these off and let you see this. Okay, pitch black again. Boom. Look at that. That is crazy light. I can see all the way over to the edge of my other property. I don't know if you can see that on camera though. Maybe you can. The tree line way back there. A couple hundred yards away at least. And it's just bright as day. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you want a discount on this unbelievable new light from Olight, head to the description below the video. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.